Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at how to create a text file in vp.net console application. So first thing, open Visual Studio. Second, create vp.net console project. Then you will have empty projects such as this. Now here you have to first declare imports. Then you have to point to system dot io okay now inside main subroutine first we are going to create the path for our file so we create variable fp for file path and here i'm going to give d drive an example devnami which is my cha channel name and then dot txt as file extension Okay, now here I want to first create a stream writer object. Let's name it STP as new, then IO dot stream writer. Okay, so this object once created, we just have to pass our file path and set its text according to true now we just have to use stp dot write line and here we have to type in let's say hello devnami this is vb dot net text file okay and on next line we write as end of document okay and then on console we write console write line and here we just mention with this double underscore okay just for the sake of output on our console because this stp write line will be written on file and not on console so let me run this and we will see how the file is created okay it will output this but do note that we didn't use stp.close so that instance of file is already executed okay so we just have to run this again and which may cause errors okay so it will be visible in our file so let's see example devnami file and this file will contain the right line text as you can see this vb.net text file end of document so this is from our these stp write line where we have stream writer object that is calling for this method and outputting it on our file okay so the flow of creating text file is something like this so first you have to mention the path where you want your text file then you have to create stream writer object then give it a path and set text encoding to true and then call for write line method to write some text on your file then you can call close method to close your file and then run this code okay so this was a short example on how to create a text file in vb.net